This is a reading from my short story, The Thermostat, included in the Transcendent Author's third anthology of short stories entitled Spring, the Unexpected, available wherever you buy ebooks or print on demand at Barnes & Noble or Amazon online. The reading picks up where the narrator has flown from the warmth and sun of lower Alabama to the frosted and frozen Omaha, Nebraska, to see his old friend Dietrich, who is suffering from Alzheimer's and near the end. He is greeted by a 73 degree drop in temperature and his friend's son. To be honest, it had been years since Dietrich and I had spoken. He had worked long past the day he could retire to keep from sacrificing half of his pension to his ex-bride, but the end of the line arrived without ceremony. I had attended the farewell party by Zoom. Eventually, the call slowed down and the world kept turning. Things always happen at the speed of life. The car was still warm from the ride in, but just getting out of the icy wind that cut through wool made it a welcome respite. Nick started the engine as the heater and heated seats came on automatically. It took me some time to figure out Dad was talking about you. His memory has been regressing faster and faster these days. I hadn't heard him mention his little head friend in years. The years were melting away for me, back to when things were simpler and easier. We hadn't spoken in ages. I'd kind of wondered where he was. Physically, I knew he was in Nebraska, but geography was not the only location to define where one was. We knew things were going downhill, but it all changed back in the summer. He got in his Porsche and went for a drive. Nick pulled to the credit card lane to pay for parking and then out into the snowy world beyond. Somewhere around the age of 14, all boys become affected by one of two smells, perfume and oil. It's different for everyone. For some, it's the first smell. For others, it's the most intent. For Deet, it was oil. Cars were his passion. The Porsche in question was his 1989 Model 911 Turbo manual transmission with target top. He saved half of every paycheck from his time in Iraq to get it. We don't really know how long he drove around for, Nick continued as he drove cautiously down the streets full of slush and ice piled a foot high. There were no lines visible, just the tire tracks of vehicles before blazing the way for us to follow. When he decided it was time to come home, he couldn't remember the way. Instead, he drove for the old house. He hadn't lived there since before we moved to Savannah, but he got out and tried his key in the door. He was getting frustrated that it wouldn't fit when the current owners opened it. They got a horrible shouting match until the owner's wife called the police. Police called me. We had him moved to assisted living the next week. The interstate was marginally better than the surface street. Piles of snow covered the shoulders and powdery waves blew across the cold, wet, dark lanes of concrete. Scanning ahead, I still couldn't make out any lines, solid or otherwise. We could have been driving over an open field as easily as if it were a road. I was thankful not to be driving. So he knows where he is and that he won't ever go back home again? Pretty much. I think it's the loss of his car he hates the most. On the last drive, he had the top-down radio belting out 80 tunes. He was living the dream just like he thought of back in high school. He loved that car. No doubt. My dream car was a 944 Turbo. It was red. I once made the statement relating cars, women, and marriage that, well, let's just say in a different time, different things were acceptable. We live, we learn, and with luck, we change. If we're really lucky, it's for the better. He laughed. My last boss never figured that out. You can't drive drunk, tell dirty jokes, or hit on your secretary anymore. Now that sounds like a story there, I laughed, shaking his head as tone dropped. Not really. She still got a raise, but he retired, took a beating cashing in his company stock. The humorous mood had soured. To hear the end of the conversation and meet Dietrich, pick up a copy of Spring the Unexpected, an ebook or print on demand.